हेलो गाइस दिस इज सुमद अनकारे एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक अवर ओन मॉड्यूल इन पाइथन यस हाउ टू मेक अवर ओन मॉड्यूल इन पाइथन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस टूडेज वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू विल गेट सच ए टाइप ऑफ लेटेस्ट वीडियो ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट गाइज सो फर्स्टली we have to make a text file we have to define a text file so in that text file we have to define some code and after that we will apply that code into the jupyter notebook okay guys so this is my current working directory here i will open a new file here i have to click on new okay now i have to click on text file okay so i have clicked this text file this text file is empty now i will type here some code okay so i have already typed this code in jupyter notebook i copied the, that code from there and paste it here so what is the code guys see i have import the statistics module okay as st now i am defining this these many functions that means in i am making the module so in my module these are the functions these are the functions so what is my first function my first function is add we have to give the two arguments here in this function two arguments and then i have written x plus y subtract x y i have written x minus y a this mult means multiplication i have multiplied these two numbers division power then mean so this is the mean function and this star x okay it means we can type any number of arguments in the find mean function okay and what it will be written it will return sum of list of x upon length of list of x that means guys summation of all these x divided by number of elements in the x okay and then the find mode so i have defined this find mode it is a mode function in statistics module so i have defined this st dot mode of mode of x again sum sum means the sum of this list the list of numbers here so that is the their sum it is a sum it is a built in function i have used again the factorial so for factorial i have used the math library and in that math library we have defined the function factorial okay again square root i have taken from there okay so i will write here import math yes import math so this is the these are my function again i have defined the month as list colors as a tuple and person as a dictionary okay guys i have defined these many functions now i will rename this file okay this is untitled one i have to rename this file so what name you want to give to your module okay what name you want to give to your module you can give now i will give the name of my module is yes basic basic or algebra i will give the name as algebra yes algebra and dot this file you have to save in dot py file okay dot py file and okay it so this file is saved now you have to save this code okay this is saved okay now cut this file one okay cut this file now we will open the jupyter file okay so untitled file this i have opened okay so i will open this file in my jupyter notebook so in that notebook i will import my library algebra and i will perform some operations on it okay guys so let us import our library import what is the name of library the name of library is we have given algebra yes algebra so it will be imported guys yes algebra is imported now i will print the number of functions or how many functions in this algebra library so i will use print tir of algebra yes now it will be give me these many functions let us see add colors dictionary du factorial find mean find mode month 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन पर्सन पावर स्क्वायर रूट एस टी सब्सट्रैक्शन एंड समीशन सो दीज मेनी फंक्शन दैट वी हैव डिफाइंड गाइड नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड इफ आई वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस कलर ओके सो आई विल यूज अलजेब्रा एज डॉट कॉम ए ओके अलजेब्रा एज ए ओरिजिनल फंक्शन सो देर आर थ्री कलर ब्लैक ग्रीन एंड ब्लू ओके नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू यूज दर्सन ओके पर्सन फंक्शन सो वट आई विल यूज a dot person okay a dot person so what it will be give me just let us see it will give me dictionary and if i use a dot person yes and then dot name person dot name so what it will be give just one second person where r is remaining let's run it name is not defined okay so it will not give me anything because you have to give the dictionary uh, only dictionary name a dot person so it will not give me a dot person dot name because this name is not defined yes now again if i want to use the sum function yes sum function that means i have to find the sum of numbers so what it will be take let us see i will use a dot sum of suppose i want to find 1 2 3 4 5 and so 56 and this one okay and if i run this again it's the loading okay we will use some another function kernel is state okay now we will use subtraction function here are the two arguments that we have to give two arguments that we have to give then i will use a dot this subtraction of two numbers suppose i want to find the subtraction of 5 and 78 okay so run it yes uh, it's uh, not defined because kernel is refreshed okay now it will give me minus 73 so in this way we can apply these many functions okay here i have to give now a then and only then it will give me the output again if i want to find mode find mode function if i want to use the find mode function so what i will be use so a dot find mode function okay find underscore mode of suppose i will write these numbers yes these and these in find underscore mode okay i have to check whether this f and m are capital or not no yes. and if i run this so i will get the mode of the function okay so in this way we can apply these many functions so in this way we have defined this module and we have make the module so we can give any code and we can uh search any code that we want if you want to uh apply some mathematical functions here so we can use that mathematical functions in the form of codes and then we can apply here directly okay guys i hope all of you understood how to make our own module in python yes so thank you for watching the video